Right guys and girls, really excited. Today I've got the brand new Strix and Drivers. Now I've done, it's an interesting review today. It's gonna to be fun. I'm gonna take these drivers to the golf course locally. I've also gone to Huntington Beach to be with Strixon in person, speak to the people who designed the clubs. They're gonna show me how they designed them, what the brief was, which I'll share with you. And also they've got a robot at their HQ. So when I te demoed the clubs collecting my numbers, we then turned the robot on and I took on the robot. Robot tested, brand new Strix and drivers. Am I a robot? Can I beat the robot? This is a fun video. Hope you enjoy. So initial thoughts with all three is that it's hard to see which one is which. I do think that the five, which is this one, yes it is, is the most stretched back. At the back, a little bit more rounded shape on the seven, which I do like. And then the LS5, yeah, that's hard to tell, isn't it? The LS5 is the new curvy, oh, wonder if it'll be my club. And I am loving the looks of all these. I love the just very neutral top line, a little bit of lipstick around the outside, simplistic line, up line, down to the dark face as well. On all three, they just look superb. Right, LS to kick us off then, shall we? This is the one that we're almost intrigued about. Me in particular, because I definitely could fall into a low spin driver bracket of seduction. Getting my longest shots, but also my shortest sometimes. Looks fantastic down by the ball. I hit that pretty good. It's a good forward fly, that. Like, that is absolutely... Oh, yes, that is forward. Sound feel, absolutely solid sound, and it is a titanium sound. Obviously, we've got titanium construction now on all these. We're gonna do the tech with the thing, but there's no carbon. We're, it's just the titanium, everything. Five looks friendly, instantly makes you feel like this is, like the look of it is that it's just the easiest one. It's gonna be the easiest one to hit. Yeah, the face actually is shining through a little bit more now. It's slightly brighter, which I like. Interesting, it looked darker when I got it off the head cover, now shining through. Let's see what it feels like. Oh yeah, that is a ripper. Definitely a higher flight. That's a bomb. That's an absolute bomb. I'm loving the sound. The sound is like strong. You're gonna hit them and think, crack. And seven to finish. This one for me is the club I tend to game. It's got the weight ports again, we'll come to this, but, and it just looks a little bit prettier in kind of squat design terms. So as hitting these, the point of filming this, I am gaming the seven in the Mark one, and this just looks familiar. Yeah, again, a good hit, and it's got that flatter flight on it. Like the seven and the five LS are gonna, I feel like they're gonna blend. We will show you the numbers. All three clubs are feeling pretty solid. And if anything there, I would say the five felt maybe the loudest, like it made the biggest ting of them all. They're pretty comparable hits. Let's go and see how they've done. So this is the, so this was the seven. The LS is up there just in the rough. And then there is the five. So the LS has snuck it on the angle a little bit, but I mean, these are all so much in my kind of dispersion pattern. Let's see what Strixon is saying about these three new drivers. So we have three models for this generation, the ZX7 Mark II, the ZX5 Mark II, and the ZX5 LS Mark II. And as you can see, probably the main difference is the adjustability and the purpose where this weight is located to give you different trajectories. So the ZX7 is our most fade biased, and that has two weights that you can adjust ball flight left and right. The ZX5 is our most forgiving high MOI. You're going to see that mass in the back, low and deep, where you need it. Um, that's going to be your most draw biased. It's not a draw model by any measure, better player, but it's the most left out of the three. And then the ZX5 LS is a new model that we've introduced that has weight forward for low spin. For those players who's gonna gain distance from cutting spin, that model is particularly uh, well suited. There has been a fair amount of interest in the yeah. ZX5 LS Mark II just because that's a new model and we were developing that with some of our tour staff in mind, the, the players who need to get that lower spin. So a lot of the fittings end up starting there due to that interest. Um, and then I think it's a pretty fair mix at the moment where you've got players who really like the ZX5 current generation are going yep. there for the Mark II and you got your ZX7 players. So really these three models exist because we have tour staff 
who are interested in all three. So the top-down look is different between these. The ZX-5 chassis, as we call it, yeah. is a larger, larger footprint chassis, so you're going to see something that is higher OMOI and more forgiving in general. The ZX-7 looks a little more compact and, uh, looks, and tends to be a little more workable for the tour staff. All three feature the same variable thickness, high strength, low density titanium alloy that's designed to give you forgiving ball speed across the face. All three feature the star frame titanium crowns and really the benefit there is ball speed. We are not finding anything that is giving us higher ball speed than that high stiffness titanium crown. We've taken as much weight out of it as possible and ultimately prioritizing for the player maximum ball speed. The hosel adjustability can tune lie, loft, face angle in all three in a similar manner. So I like the way the tech is pretty seamless through the three clubs. You've literally got three fitting head options. The seven in the old model definitely felt a bit more fady where the five feels a bit more draw. And the low spin option is just another option that obviously some people were asking for. And it's certainly one that's catching my interest the most because again, it, it's new and sometimes that's what golf equipment does. I know the dangers of low spin drivers, but my actions and speeds are changing so often, well, not as often as I want, <laughs> that um, I do feel like this is an option that might go in there. And certainly the tour players were loving testing this when I watched Ryan and Soren, uh, Team Strickland players, tour players, try these clubs. This is the one they were very interested in knowing what it could do for them. Uh, so this is the low spin option. It's such a nice fly. Like it is so oosh forward. I do tend to hit my drives a little hair high. I have to try and take loft off. I'm an ad loft kind of serial ad lofter. And this one gets more and more appealing. You know what's going to happen? I'm going to game it. And then through the year, I have a few toey dips and I'll run away from it. We all do that with low spin. That's the problem. So let's go to the seven. Again, this is the one I feel like I will stay at. We'll show you the numbers in a second. And the robot testing is just hilarious. I can't wait for you to see. The robot testing is very, very funny. Uh, in the comments down below, how do you reckon I get on against the robot? Seven is a beautiful shape, and that's what I like about mine. It's an absolute beautiful little head shape down by the ball. Oh yeah, I've ripped that just up the left, uh, the right, sorry, stay at the left side of those trees. But again, hit that well. It's, it's higher and definitely feels like it could fade a little bit more. I feel like that hit with the five would just turn a bit more so it's going to play into how much shape i'm putting on it or not i don't know if you can see that strike mark it's there basically is it getting that in the camera in the light basically lovely height that's where i feel like the meat of the club is for my strike and then the zx5 i think is going to be you know your biggest seller isn't it it's going to be it's slightly more draw biased i wouldn't say it's draw biased but it's more draw biased if you compare it to a seven it definitely is the friendliest looking and again, let's just compare this to the LS. Like, so the five, two fives, obviously in the LS, there's not much in it, which makes me feel like I'm gonna sneak towards the old uh, LS. Oh God, I fall for it every time. And it's funny watching all the companies move and name other companies that are not using carbon now in their clubs. It's like a battle between is carbon or not, isn't it? I can think of at least one other who don't use carbon now. That one's pretty much up the same line as the seven. That is just a rip again. Feels good. Definitely, this, it's the low spin that's the most intriguing, but am I just going to get punished by the low spin drop-offs that I can get? Why don't we go and have a look at the numbers in front of the people I tested it, uh, who built it, sorry, which again is always fun. I love testing clubs in front of the people who bought or who made them because obviously you bring human mess to their tests. They've all tested, they know what comes out of these clubs. I could bring anything, but show you the numbers. And then also, how do you reckon I get on against the robot? Let's show you. So drivers, 7.5 and 5LS. Yep. Uh, ZX, what are we seeing from those data batches there? That's a lot of shots for me. I'm a bit tired now. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're grinding out there, but um, yeah, they're trending how we'd expect to see them. So five, our most forgiving model, um, just a standard five, so it's gonna be your higher spinning. A little bit more uh, draw bias, you can kind of see it trending on the, the left side of the target line. Uh, the five LS, our lowest spinning model, you can see it's dropping just over 300 RPMs there, so it's doing what it's supposed to do. Um, it's a little bit less forgiving than the five, just based on where the weighting is. So you see your dispersion goes up with that ZX5 LS towards the ZX5, but yeah. you can also hit it further when you, when you need to ramp it up. Yeah. 
Um, and then the ZX7 is a kind of our standard tour model. So a neutral spin compared to the two other models, good carry distance, good ball speed. Yeah. Um, and good it launch. was a touch, yeah, good launch, a little touch more fade bias. Um, yeah, and I could feel that. Yeah. And, it, and it, you can set it up too. You were kind of set in the standard setting, but if we wanted to be a little bit more right bias, yeah. you could switch the weights there and get yeah. more toe weighting. And I wouldn't go more. I like. I was quite impressed that even when I hit my toey, that felt like it would go left, which you can see here from say the low spin five. Look at the uh, how much wider they yeah. deviate, yep. and that's coming from that. Those shots are in there with the seven. Yep. They just didn't come out. Yeah, yeah, no. Does that make sense? That this furthest left is probably equivalent to that furthest left. It's just the way you've set it up being a little bit more fade bias. I could see that. Exactly, from. yeah. It's it's five and seven you want they're pretty separate. The five's more that right to left yeah. shape shot. Yeah. The seven you want to hit it left to right. And then the, the ZX five L S is, is kinda neutral to a little bit more fade bias than the five, but just knocking down that spin. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And the spins sit lovely, don't they? I mean two five for the seven. Two six, two nearly seven for the five, and then two three in the low spin five. So, I mean, it's like the five and the sorry, the low spin five and the seven are like they're touching each other's toes, aren't yeah. they? Does that make yeah. sense? They're very close. This is what might sell me the low spin though. Look at the deviations on the longer side, and quite interesting. If I was only in the five market, deviations on the short side are the same, but on the long side it was better. Yeah, exactly. But then the red is tighter again in the seven. Yeah, it's just, it just kind of narrows in for you, um, just based on that perimeter weighting kind of yeah. helps with that forgiveness here and there. But if you are looking for something to knock down the spin with some forgiveness, that ZX5 LS is a good it's model there, for you. Yeah, good numbers. I'm impressed with that. And look at those carries. Come on. <laughs> That's not bad, is it, for an old one? Yeah, you were, you were ramping up there. <laughs> Chasing that 170. Yeah, absolutely. Right, robot, what have you got? So we're just seeing what the robot can do. Oh, that's close. What speeds did we go at there? So 168.1, oh, I like that. So could, we, could you bring up the other screen for me? So you carried, so the robot hitting it, not, so you're slightly, is that going to be optimum ball speed hit or slightly down? That'll be down. And that's, I so that's was basing that on what on, you said, the yeah. high toe. Yeah, good. Right. So that's trying to match to mine. Right. Um, so that carried 299 at 168. What was right. I squeezing out? So I got 168.3 on my top, launching at 11, spinning at 26, and I carried 293. So I'm not far off the robot there, no, am I? No, no. Like just the robot's a little higher launch, a little lower spin. Yeah. 12 and a half, <laughs> 23.09. That is amazing. You're a machine. Uh, well, that trouble is, is I only hit one shot. You, yeah. you can hit as many as you right. like from exactly. there. So just to give an idea then of how this club compared to the robot, because we've both got the same club in here. This is a ZX7 in that machine and this is my zx7 club um i average 288 165 ball so we're now trying to just get the robot down to my painfully slow pace so are you getting that ball speed down with strike or are you moving the robot slower uh less power yeah so moving it slower mm -hmm. so there we didn't quite reach the green yeah so we got 165.7. 165.7, what was I? I averaged, yeah, I averaged 165 for, exactly. t to, for 288. You're 166 rounded up, so yes. it's one mile out, but what's your distance on that? Let's see here. 315, 292 carries. 292, so that's only four yards. Yeah. And that's my average. Yep. On a lot of shots. Yep. Oh, that's quite amazing. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit higher launch, a little lower spin. That is and that. I made it swim with a British accent. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little taller than me, and its arm yeah, looks a little yeah, longer. Yeah. <laughs> this, this short game sucks. Yeah, yeah. So that, I mean, that is that is joking aside. Mm -hmm. Like that's pretty efficient, isn't it? Two eight eight average we're on like a... twenty drives or ten or fifty. It's probably near twenty drives. That. Yeah. And that's. Yeah, four You're yards. going at 165. Yep. So you could get 165 going further than that. I mean, that's a 1.48 efficiency, which on 
yeah. quad is pretty that much really it's maxed changed. out, isn't it? Yeah, that's more based on where we're hitting it on the face. So you slightly could, off. Could you center. get 165 going further than that? Uh, if I got lower, uh, higher launch and lower spin, sure. What was bit. the spin on that? 2374 and yeah, so you, so you would have to start going unmanageable spin for a human, as in 2-3 is a nice place for a human to yeah. sit with their spin. Yeah, you wouldn't want to go much lower than that. Because if you miss it when it comes down and you're yeah. trying to you're get it out, out of the 1-9, you're dropping down to 1-5, aren't you? Right. So, oh, that's amazing. Yep. That is, oh, I'm going to class that as a win. Good. Excellent. That is a win. Right, we're just putting ZX-5 in there now because the robot wants a piece of me on the ZX-5. It didn't like that. It didn't like me showing the 7 how to hit the 7. So we're 165 ball speed with the ZX-5. Oh, that's, I'm oh, sorry, I've got the low spin. You've got the standard one there, haven't you? Yeah. yeah, so I was 164 with this to get 283. So I reckon it can beat me on this one. So we need a bit of calibration. I needed the same, it wasn't just one it for me, I needed to calibrate too. <laughs> yeah, so 166 carry 273, but because look at the shape of that one, because the face wasn't right, so that's a good message. See how the robot not calibrated doesn't get, even with the power going in, it leaks. And that's what us humans are doing as well. Yeah. Which is pretty good. This is a slightly more leftward club as well. Yeah. So he's just going to tweak it a bit more, but we're now seeing that the yardage is not going to be a comp. So he's 166 ball, getting 294, not bad, 294 carry. Remember, I'm 283, and this was my least efficient of all the clubs. Good for dispersion, but I, I reckon I could squeeze this. It wasn't my best spin, best launch spin relationship and ball speed. So not bad. Right, right. That's a lot better. Yeah. This is this is more of a non game, this yeah. one. Because <laughs> right. this was my least efficient of the three. Okay. So you're two mile an hour ball God speed here. extra to me here, which I'll give you four to six yards. 166. That's not 12, bad. 22, yeah. 29, 295 carry. 295 carry to my. So I was 283, but I was two mile an hour slower on ball. 164? Yeah, so okay. if you take four to six yards off yours, again, we're close, aren't we? I'm, yeah. I, I mean... I can slow it down if you'd like. I, yeah, see if we can get 164 ball would be okay. great. So if we get 164 ball, just how efficient is that club and me? So we're pretty, pretty straight. Yeah, nice and straight. Coming up short of the green. Yeah, and it is. That was a 290 something carry. Full speed of 164. So the game is, yeah, 289. I think that was. I spied there. Yeah, 164. 289 to my 283. So again, it's six yards. It's not, it's, yeah. it's, that's pretty what efficient. What was your launch and spin on that one? I was 11 and 26. So I was, uh, yes. Closer, yeah. Like 11, 8, and 22. And, and I could easily get that to 2 2 on another batch. And the you know, impact just, point is pretty darn close to what was yeah. on the club, so. Again, okay. I, I'm going to class that as a draw, which is a win. Because yeah. a draw is a win for me. Good. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> we'll I set the rules and the game. Yes, so I, <laughs> absolutely. So this is the ZX5 Mark II low spin now. Robot smashing as good as it can. How efficient am I compared to the robot? So we've got a straight ball it's it's the CX5. carrying 290 something at Whoa. what ball speed? Oh, you nearly hold it. <laughs> Putting for eagle. <laughs> so that ball speed needs to come up, I think. I'll go and show you my comparison in a minute. Oh, okay. 290, so a bit too low spinning. Oh, yeah. yeah, so you're 164, 155 spin, and 290 carry, so yeah. the spin is slightly on the low side there. Yeah, the spin really dropped. Yeah. So my ball speed was 165 to get 289 carry. Yeah, so uh, it's your spin. I'm, I'm winning on that because your spin's too low. Yeah, spin's 59. We're within a yard of each other, yeah. but, but because your spin is low. Yeah, it's kind of falling out of the it's air. It's falling you out of the air, isn't here. it? Yeah. Oh, that's a win against the but rolling, can, rolling can we like get the crazy spin up? though. What's yeah. that? Can we get the spin up or is that a... uh yeah, I think so. If we can get the spin up to around two two. Okay, let's try. 
and the ball speed up to 165, 164.5. Yeah, close it. Okay, let me try something okay. here. So we're just changing the spin. We're going to try and keep the ball speed very similar because that was my ball speed within 0.5 of a mile an hour. Just a little right. But we are now in the 290s of carry, I think. Yeah, 294, 165 ball. Got to spin up a little bit, but not a lot. So yeah, so you're gonna, if you got that up to 2 2, it is gonna, again, it's gonna be a bit further than me, isn't it? Could be, yeah. I mean, you're already not, at 294, so. Yeah. But it's mm -hmm. gonna be about six yards again, isn't it? It's like yeah. quite constant with all of them. Could be. Could, can we get the spin up? I'll try a little bit more. Okay. I do have to close the face, though, when I do that. So okay. that might kill the spin a little yeah. bit, so it's a trade off. Still going a little right. 165 ball, 29, yeah, so we're close. We're getting there. So again, if you look at mine, 165 to 289, which is kind of on what the machine is doing, like it's it's the best one compared to the machine, but it's because my spin's just keeping the ball up in the air a little bit for the lower ball speed. If he go and cranks that up, a little bit more of this or more of this, He's going to do me, he's going to, you know, the machine will win. Again, it just shows you how efficient these clubs are, kind of, with me. Like, we're, you know, I'm getting a lot out of the bit of equipment I'm using. Not far off what that's doing. <laughs> oh, so, 165 ball, fell, yeah. Mm, that didn't help at all. No. Yeah, the spin fell off. So it was better off where yeah. it was before. So, I mean, I honestly think at 165, the low spin, at that ball mm -hmm. speed, I am punching. Yeah. That I'm close to getting as much as I can out of it. Yeah, you're um, much closer than the other club. Just to show, because my goal mm -hmm. is to get this to 170. Okay. If Pump we get up. this to 170 with this club, just to show people, okay. actually, that's where my real win will be. So it's rolling. Wasn't Max, was that 170 ball? See. Yeah, 170 so ball, just the spin again, spin too low. Yep. Yeah. So 295, but if you got that spin up near 2000, that's going to be carrying yeah. 305 kind of stuff, I'd guess. Yeah, probably. Yeah. So that, that's the real goal there, 170, which it was able to do <laughs> much yeah. I worked way harder to get yeah. it up to 170, and I didn't even get there. <laughs> just a couple more amps did it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Good stuff. There we go, brand new Strixon drivers. Let me know what you think. Definitely fun having the low spin model. I kind of felt like I'm going to settle with a seven, but I, you know the low spin model is going to be tested because it just, it seduces me into my long hits. What do you think? And in the comments, am I a robot? Does that qualify me as a robot tester? Let me know. Thanks for watching.